part of the curatorial team of uh, this exhibition. And this exhibition deals with 100 years of modern planning in Israel. While Israel is a very unique uh, situation in 100 years because uh, all the built, uh, most of the built environment was uh, done in this 100 years. And what we have here, we, we, we changed the pavilion into a construction site which uh, draw on sand the modernist uh, planning uh, of Israel in, four sc in three scales. We have the country scale, where we draw master plans of the whole country, and we have uh, 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 the city scale, a neighborhood scale, and another printer for the building scale. The fact that we use the printers is because uh, is because uh, the printer on the, the printing on the sand in the planning in Israel at least uh, manifests in the best way the modernist approach towards the land. The land always seen as a tabula rasa is always a clean slate, and whenever a planning is finished, we are erasing and replanning again. So Israel also suffers from an over planning situation. Uh, we have uh, more than 40 master plans for the country, we have thousands of uh, master plans for cities and uh, what we also have is, is also an approach towards the new. We are always creating a new and we have a sort of a zero evolution of the uh, cities. So what you see here is a neighborhood, is a, is a, is a printer that produces neighborhoods and neighborhoods again and again and again. Always different or always the same? No, they are always different, but they are more of the same. They have all the same characteristics. They are always circular, with the road around them. They are always uh, buildings that are set into the land. And they are uh, uh, always organic, as if they are trying to seem as if they were always there. It's never a grid, for example. And uh, the exhibition actually name is called the Herb. Herb. herb is for the urban and bird is for the suburb and it des describes the, the unique situation in Israel where we have a mixture of urban and suburb. It's not really a city and it's not really a suburb. So this is a mixture, a neologism we create. And why all these destructions or building and rebuilding again and again in the same territory it is due to? It's, be it's because, it's because uh, Israel always planned the land as if it's a tabula rasa. So it's, all the planning is top-down in Israel. 92% of the land belongs to the government. And immediately when government change or, or political approach change, the plans are always changing. So for example, there is a plan, uh, the first master plan, put a grid all over the country, as if it was a paper, yeah? We have agreed all over the country of new uh, settlements. And then, of course, we have the plans that change it. Yeah? So it's again and again, it's like this in any scale. It is a good job for you, architects. And the video yeah. that we don't see anymore? And the video that we will see in a second is, uh, is actually a, a music box that shows, uh, that, that plays, actually, the mm. pattern of the neighborhood. So, mm. Whenever a pattern is going down, you can see it now, whenever a pattern maybe approach a little, whenever a pattern is going down, it creates a sound. And this sound is totally automatic, it's totally uh, playing uh, uh, music. And the sound? It's not composed, it's uh, music. It's music. And the sound is a mean that you have in Israel now? Because, uh, yes, the sound, in the middle we, of the we, desert, brought, desert. we brought five tones to hear from Israel. It's the sound that is used, it's a special aggregate that's used for construction. Okay, thank you yeah. very much. Welcome.